I'm late, I'm late, I know, but whatever, let's get into it, let's talk about it, right? Okay, so if y'all don't know, J. Cole just apologized recently to Kendrick Lamar for dropping his seven-minute diss, and the internet is talking. I know I'm late to the party, but truth be told, I had to think about this before I just blurted out an opinion. Like, I really sat down and thought about the entire situation, because it's not, it wouldn't have sat right with my spirit. But I'm not gonna lie, I was a little shocked when I first heard the news because Cole really got his hype and then backed out two days later. But here's the thing though, I respect it. So the reason this video is late is because I had to take some time to listen to what other people were saying, people in the comments, my friends, and even other, you know, hip hop influencers. Charlemagne had something really insightful to say. What the man in me, who understands that I'm a spiritual being living a human existence, has nothing but respect for what J. Cole did. See, so many of us lead with pride and ego nowadays, and we let these idiots on social media who we don't even know peer pressure us to say things and do things that we don't even want to do. It takes a real human to check himself and say, man, what I'm, what I'm doing, I don't even believe. But for the rest of y'all, I got a question for y'all because something's been bugging me. Like... Are y'all even really a fan of these two? I'm gonna let y'all know right now that I'm a big fan of both of these two and what they represent. I even graduated from the same school as J. Cole, so you know I'm a super fan. Yeah, we made jokes when the songs came out. We wanted to see how they were gonna clap back, but that's because the songs already dropped. We just wanted to see where it went. But it ain't no way you're a fan of these two and you actually wanted to see them go head to head. When Kendrick dropped, I felt conflicted because the bar were fire but I was shocked at why he came to the cold like that and when Kendrick dropped I was conflicted too because when he dropped the bars the bars were fire but I couldn't agree with anything he was saying in the song I think Kendrick's albums are classics without a doubt so for any of y'all that are fans of Kendrick or Cole or even both like me I cannot understand how y'all are handling this situation right now. It doesn't make any sense to me at all. Kendrick fans love bringing up T-Pab in any argument. They're like, yo, it's the greatest rap album of all time. But if you love bringing it up so much, how come you forgetting how Blacker the Berry ended? Hypocrite? And that was almost 10 years ago. We're not even talking about all the healing he's done in Damn or Mr. Morale. And how can you call yourself a J. Cole fan when he's been saying this type of healing stuff in his songs for I don't know how long. Especially in like the off season where he has the song Pride is the Devil where he's literally got a bar saying got some uncles and some aunties that's too proud to give apology and then as soon as he apologizes you like yo that's whack. Pride is the devil! Are you not listening to the song? Like I said I'm a fan of both right? So I know as a fan of both y'all can relate to this. We have been asking for a collab album for I don't know how long, 10 plus years, and then we get a diss against each other? No one wanted that! So how are y'all all of a sudden talking about competition? What are you talking about? We wanted them to work together, not fight each other! Yo, it literally got to the point where I started seeing people say like, yo, if Kendrick gives us five disses a piece against Cole, and Cole will give us five disses a piece against Kendrick, fuck it, we gonna call that an album. We gonna, we gonna call it an album. We gonna call it a collab album. That's what we gonna do. And for any of y'all that were in the comments saying, oh, this is just a friendly spar, y'all are lying to yourselves to make yourselves feel better about instigating beef. Just say you wanted two niggas to fight for your entertainment. Ain't nothing friendly about this. I feel like... Either y'all genuinely don't know or y'all choosing to ignore the fact that up until these songs drop, we genuinely thought K-Dot and Cole fucked with each other. So I don't know what are y'all talking about right now. We're not, we not talking about Drake though because we already know Kendrick don't fuck with Drake. So that's not part of the conversation. We just talking about Cole and Kendrick right now. I swear, I hate the internet because suddenly everyone's an expert in the history of hip hop. Everyone's like, yo, it's just hip hop. This always happens. This is just friendly competition. No, we're not talking about a rapper saying, oh, I'm the best. No one can touch me. We're talking about two people who are known friends in the industry and one person has been giving that other person nothing but love and then that person took the bars that they've been using in multiple songs 
and use it against them in a diss track. When's the last time we've ever seen that happen? I've never seen Tyler diss Earl Sweatshirt, and we haven't seen them collab in a long time. So please give me some examples of situations like that happening in any time of the period, I don't care if it's the 80s, 90s, 2000s, right now, give me an example of that happening and it's still being friendly competition. Show me an example. I don't know about y'all, but like, I felt conflicted the entire time this situation was going on because I genuinely never picked a side. I didn't want to see them fighting each other. Like, you guys have got to understand. These aren't like two up and coming dudes who are like getting compared because they're both reaching the same levels of fame or mentioning and stuff like that. These are guys who are genuinely homies to each other that we've seen come up. So when they just start coming at each other like that, and you, I respect both of their bodies of work and the messages that they like have to say in them. So when I see them start fighting, I'm like, What's going on? I thought we was all family. I thought we was all love. Like, why are y'all, like, suddenly with the hostility for each other? So when Cole apologizes, I can't do anything but respect it because he's not choosing, like, to run away from a random guy he doesn't want no smoke with. He's choosing not to fight a friend. And for that, I have nothing but the deepest respect for Cole because I listen to his music. I listen to Kendrick's music. They both talk about the same shit. Better in the black community, healing, stop killing each other in the street. And as soon as some beef happens, we go to do the same thing. I'm not, I'm not doing that, man. Whatever. Like. But that's just my thoughts and opinions on the situation. Let me know what y'all think. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, alright? Alright? <laughs>